Vero. You're watching the Leclerc show. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the Leclerc show, day number 268. Here we are at the beautiful May Wilson Theatre in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. I'm about to do the 20 minute show I actually flew down here to do. Yep. Seven hours travel for a 20 minute show. <laughs> it's actually a showcase where potential show buyers can actually bid on uh, the Mystérique et la Mathémagie show. So I'm really excited. Uh, the reason I'm filming this right now is because one of the most nostalgic feelings an entertainer can get is before showtime in an empty theater just like this. I have a lot of very, very fond memories of being alone in the theater prior to showtime. There's this like euphoric sense of, you know, pretty soon all these seats are gonna be filled and people are gonna be amazed and clapping and the energy is about to change from nothing to absolutely mind blowing. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you guys my showcase because you guys have seen all the tricks in the Leclerc show that I do for my showcase, but I still want to take you kind of backstage here and uh, let you in on what it feels like before showtime. I'm a little nervous. I hope everything goes well. Hey everybody, welcome to the Leclerc Show. You know, every once in a while in the magic world comes a magic trick so powerful, so intense, so effective that it takes the magic world by storm. Today we'd like to show you this trick, then teach it to you, presenting a Moose Jaw exclusive the double penetration at Boston Pizza performed by Eric Vanier. Enjoy. It's only your magic shaker. The toonie, the salt shaker, and the napkin. Okay. It's very simple. It's called toonie to toonie. Toonie goes under the salt shaker, salt shaker goes under the napkin, okay? On the count of three, toonie will go through the table. One, two, three. It didn't work. Whatever. <laughs> I'm allowed at least two tries. Flip it over. One, two, three. I thought it was gonna work, right? <laughs> okay, last time. Okay. I'm not a pro, so I have done this in my class. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Actually, the salt shaker goes right through the table. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's a trick tuning. You actually put the tuning right through the table, like that. That was pretty cool. This is a very, very advanced trick. What you gotta do is tell them that you're making the tuning go through the table. This way they're gonna be focused on the tuning going through the table. That's what they're anticipating is gonna happen. Meanwhile, what's really gonna happen is that the salt shaker will go through the table. And we do this by using a method of distraction. The way I do is that I count to three, I tap the salt shaker, and then I'm like, Oh my god, it didn't work. Let's try it again. Then I'll do something funky, like I'll turn the tuning around. And then I'll say, it always works on the second try. Then I'll go one, two, three, and then it doesn't work again. And they're like, you're an idiot. But while they're thinking that, I'm dropping the salt shaker here on my lap. Boop. Just like that. But not letting them see it. And not doing the... Not doing the boop. Okay. And then I bring back the salt shaker here for the third time. As I go one, two, three, salt shaker magically swishes through the table. And I go to reach it under the table and bring it back amazed. And then what I do, just you know, as the cherry on top of the trick. I kind of swivel this thing on my lap and pretend to pick it up and say, I'm gonna penetrate this to me through the table. I'm gonna penetrate it. Boop. Again, without the boop. Magic happens. And then I feel good about myself. I'm like, I'm amazing. I'm a magician. When you're double penetrating people, I mean things, you have to keep your eye on the prize. And that's what we call a double penetration. How do you feel about uh, my friend um, pulling a double penetration on you? Really? Is that an appropriate question? <laughs> 
Hey guys, what's up? Okay, it's 3 in the morning and we just came back from Boston Pizza because in Moose Jaw, that's where you hang out. The Boston Pizza, that's what we learned. Eric is actually sleeping, but he was supposed to say the reminding you line. So I'm going to try and wake him up and see if he remembers. Let's check it out. No. Yeah. Eric, say the reminding you line. Mm. You know it. We practiced it like seven times. Well, Eric will clear reminding you. I'll always remember my wife's last words. I can't swim, you idiot. <laughs> See you tomorrow. What? I really like this game, but I'm into you. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I just called to say hello.